So welcome back, guys, to a quick video. I actually just wrapped up a podcast with Anthony with Blast Podcasting, and I was about to get ready for work, and I had a bunch of folks bla blasting my phone uh, saying, hey, Xander, have you been hearing about what's going on with Sega of Japan and Judgment, uh, a.k.a. Judge Eyes in Japan? It's a video game by the Yakuza team that's going to be like a mystery-style game in the Yakuza universe. One of my most anticipated games of 2019, and I'm like, no, fill me in. Apparently, an actor, Pierre Take, has been uh, charged being testing positive for cocaine. Now, uh, this is very weird, making a video talking about this, because in the West, you know, actors, musicians, they get busted for drugs all the time. The movies still come out. The albums still come out. They still do concerts while they're, you know, fighting a drug charge, unless it's something really, really big and something very serious. But in Japan, it's a little different, uh, because right now the game is not even being sold in Japan. It's been out for a couple of months, and it's supposed to be coming out in June, for the West, and uh, what, are, what are my thoughts about this? First off, this isn't the first time that this has happened, even with the same company, uh, with Sega. When they were doing Yakuza 4, the remaster, a character that was in the game, the voice actor, also tested positive for cocaine. They ended up replacing the whole character, and that guy, the actor, is no longer in the, in the business. He ended up quitting altogether. Apparently, even if you get caught with any sort of drugs, this is a huge career killer in Japan, which makes complete sense. Um, my thoughts about this is I, I hope it doesn't get delayed in the West. Um, right now, it's too early to tell. I will say the game's a lot of fun. I played the demo. I really enjoyed it. But, I mean, the ball's in Sega's court. If uh, Sega decides, hey, we're going to delay this game for the West, so be it. I'll still buy it day one. I have plenty of other games to play, but this is a game I'm definitely looking forward to. And what do you guys think about this? Are, are you guys a little upset about this? Are you guys, uh, you know, is this going to kind of make you decide if you want to buy the game day one? I'd, I'd love to hear some of your feedback. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, happy gaming.